Today we're going to read 1 John 3, 14. It says, We know that we have passed from death to life because we love our brothers. Anyone who does not love remains in death. The title of this sermon is going to be called Love Makes Good Impressions. Learning to demonstrate aspects of love, like patience, kindness, and encouragement, which are not always easy, but are certainly crucial to a healthy relationship. So dwelling with the way you greet others each day may seem like no big deal, but this small issue carries surprising significance. You can tell a lot about someone's friendship from the way they greet one another. Examples, you can see it in their expressions and countenance, as well as they speak to each other. It is more obvious by their physical contact, so how much importance should you give a greeting? Well, the Bible has more to say about greetings than you might expect. The Apostle Paul took the time to encourage his readers to greet one another warmly. When they met, in fact, near the end of his letters to the Romans, he asked his fellow believers to greet 27 of his friends and loved ones for him. He even took time to list each one by name. It's not just about your friends, however, Jesus noted in his sermon on the mountain that even the pagans speak kindly to people they like. It's easier for anyone to do. But he took it a step further and said that being godly included being humble and gracious enough to address even when your enemies with kindness this phrase is, with kindness. This phrase is an interesting question. How do you greet your friends, parents, teachers, neighbors, and family? How about acquaintances and those you could meet in public? You might even encounter someone you don't know like yet, yet still acknowledge them out of courtesy. You never know what that person might be doing through at home, what might be going through at home. So who is someone you normally would not greet? Take the time to that person with love and smile on your face. When someone communicates that they are glad to see you, your personal sense of self-worth increases. How does it make you feel? Does it make you feel important and valued? That's because a good greeting sets the stage for positive and healthy interactions. It puts wind in, like love, it puts wind in your sails. Think back to the story Jesus told about the prodigal son. This young rebellious man demanded his inheritance money and then wasted it on a foolish lifestyle. But soon his bad choices caught up with him and he found himself eating scraps out of a pig pen. Humbled and ashamed, he practiced his apologies and tried to think of the best way to go home and face his father. But the greeting he was expecting was not the one he received. While he was still a long way off, his father saw him and felt compassion for him and ran and embraced him and kissed him, Luke 15, 20. Of all the scenarios this young man had played out in his mind, this was like the last one he expected. But you do think it made him feel to feel. How do you think it made him feel to receive his father's embrace and hear his thankful tone? He had no doubt felt loved and treasured once again. What do you think it did to their relationship? What kind of greetings do you give? Think of opportunities you have to greet each other on a regular basis. That can be at home, at church, with your kids, with your wife, or anybody that you're around every day. When coming through the door, when going to church, school, 
Think about your grief. Do you use it well? Do they feel loved? Even if you're not getting along too well, you can listen to the tension and give them value by the way you greet them. Remember, love is a choice, so choose it to change your greeting. Choose to love. I have a dare for y'all this week. Think of a specific way you would like to greet others. Do it with a smile and with enthusiasm. Then determine to change your greeting to reflect your love for them and use it. Dear God, we thank you for letting us come again, Lord. Thank you for all you've done for us, God. Thank you for letting us come here, Lord. Please let us have a good weekend, Lord. In your sister's name, pray. Amen.